Hello, everybody. Well, the weather's a little warmer today. I don't know how long it's going to stay that way. Uh, our weather's supposed to get cold. They said we're supposed to be in the minuses, I think, next week. So, trying to get a bunch of stuff done as much as I can get done. I've got a little treat here. We're going to try it out and see how it does. I got this one done. This is a little... Uh, 390 that I picked up it's got the little sticker on it look at the handle the handle insert was missing so I made one out of aluminum <laughs> I got it in there that's the main thing uh, that chain sharpened a little bit from the last time you seen it <laughs> so uh, this is fresh it ported pretty nice it looked really good. I don't know how it's going to do. We're going to try it out because uh, it had been sitting for a long time. But we got it all cleaned up. New cylinder top end put on it. The uh, uh, A lot of these these saws I keep finding with the top end burn up on them, the, the high screws run in like three quarters of a turn or, you know, a half a turn. And... I guess people are trying to lean them out to get them to rev higher, and they're just scorching them. Because, I mean, other than that, I didn't find anything wrong with it. But uh, we're going to see if it'll fire up. It's cold. I cranked it last night, so it ain't been pre-warmed or nothing. I know the oiler worked because it was oiling all over the table. So uh, we're going to fire it up and make a couple cuts with it. And if everything goes like I'm hoping it will, we might go down to Dad's here in just a little bit. And film just a little bit of putting a head on a, uh, what's that thing? A B or C ice chimers. We got the sleeves and all put in it um, uh, the other day. I don't remember. But I had to shim the bearings and all that yesterday. I got all that done. We didn't film any of that because it was just a pain in the butt. So uh, I'm going to adjust the camera. We're going to see if this thing will fire up. Try taking a couple cuts. to get you in frame as much as possible there we go oh and my elbow still hurts
be said about right to me. Yeah, I set the carburetor last night without the air filter on it. I put the air filter on today. So I brought the screwdriver with me, but I think she's a runner. I saw I saw cleaned up real nice. So uh that one there needs a home. So uh we gotta find him a home. So uh just let me know. Let's go see if we can put a head on a tractor. Y'all ready for that? I hope so. I'm not. All right, here we're back. We got a few things to do. Y'all see this? It's a push rod. It's what opens the valve. All right, well, one of them looks like this. You can see what it's supposed to look like, what it actually looks like. And we don't have another one, so. I got two choices. I either make one or straighten this one. Wow. Or buy one. That's not even an option. Come on, y'all. How we are. We're and while you it, straighten it. You got two. <laughs> Excuse me. We have two that's bent, apparently. And just for you y'all that don't know, this happens to be one of my... I'm usually the one that gets to straighten all the push rods. Of course, valves. <laughs> of course, I was the one who used to straighten the nails so they could fix the barn too. So. Anybody that's ever had to do this before knows what I'm doing. Knows some people that's never done this before, like he's beating on that push rod with a hammer. <laughs> that's the only way you go straighten. That's the easiest way to straighten it, rather. And it's not even in the focus. What in the world? Here. Y'all see that? See how much bend is in it? <laughs> we're going to try to... We're going to try to get most of the bend out of it. On this flat block here. Yep. I might actually need another piece of something to lay up here day day The best part. Yep. This thing's been bent for a while. It's got a wire groove in it. <laughs> Uh, feeling that's where the the valve was getting kind of sticky on it. And I don't have my glasses on either, so this will. set it against another one, rotate them, that way I can find the high spot right there. <laughs> we'll get the high spot out of it. Just need another something other than there, but we're getting pretty close to get that spot right there. That spot out of it right there, and I'll be probably close enough. Got just a little bit of a bend to it. I 
I have an elaborate way of doing this at the house, but I'm not at the house, so we're just making the best of what we got. get close enough. That's pretty dang close right there. Oh. Right there in the middle. These things are soft as butter. Uh -huh. Most of the kinks out of them now I'm just trying to Just a little bit of bow to it, but for the most part, considering what it was, it's a whole lot straighter than it was. It'll work now. That's the main thing. Now this right here ain't too bad. I might be able to bend this one with just my hands. These push rocks are really soft. No, they're solid. If they were solid, they wouldn't be as easy to bend. Seven minutes and something straight and push rods. Yeah, that's, that's straight enough. All right, we're going to stop this because I want the video to be a half a mile long. They're straight enough. It'll run. Let's see if we can get some footage of putting the head on after we get everything cleaned up. We'll be back. All right, everybody. Here we go. We got her cleaned up. Got the surface wiped down on the cylinders. This head gasket only goes on one way. It's thicker on one side than it is the other. If you put it on upside down, you can't line the holes up. So we're going to set her on here, and I'm going to go pick the head up and attempt to set it down on here. I don't have a set of bolts cut to drop them down in there. So. We're just going to set it on there and see what happens. We're just going to set it on there and see what happens. Now, I'm going to try to hold it like this. It looks like it's lining up good. Yep. It is right now. If we get two in, we have it. You should or you play it close. Yep. 
Being fixed. Two in the fridge, it's gonna be good. Stop moving. <laughs> a... Stop pulling on me. <laughs> Quit scooping. <laughs> Boot scooping, baby. Let's see if we get them all in there. I've already got the, the wrench. Then we're busy. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take this one. I don't need any more. I'm sorry. I caught these horses running out. Hey, where's them two longer ones go? Oh, oh, over there and there. We're missing a short one. You sure? Yep. Show him. Oh, Lord, I might have to go shopping. I didn't take this part, y'all, so don't blame me. <laughs> oh, we're missing two of them. Yep, we're missing two of the short boats. All right, let us find the boats and then we'll be back. All right, after like 2,000 years, we finally found two boats. So, we did not need three. We only need two. So we're going to run them down with this. Yeah. Because I don't feel like sitting here twisting on them for 15 dang minutes. And we got the torque wrench already set. And this looks like a Harbor Freight torque wrench. It is not. Idiot. It's a custom design. That does not seem like 45 pounds. You know what I do? Give them a little extra. I give them about a quarter more. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna give her a little torque and one out there in the truck. I don't want to have to run and get mine. Now you tell us. <laughs> did I not run that one down? I guess you did. Must have missed that one a little bit. And apparently that one's larger. <laughs> so give me a, what is that? Three quarter? Give me a three quarter. Three quarter. That's a Ford? Yeah, that's the one I was. Yeah. Main cap boat. Main cap boat for a 302. And shorten it. <laughs> we have to shorten it just a little bit. Where'd you get that socket at there? Over yonder, the ones we've been using. Over in the tow box over yonder. I think it's about 11 feet deep. Lord have mercy. we're kicking in I just need to stop. This! There's Find the socket. 18 is the, the right over. I think we're just going to leave that one on there. That'll work. I believe I'll give some more. Do what? I believe I'll give some more. I ain't hundred percent sure I got it set on forty five. I think I'm gonna do about a quarter more on it. Come on. Uh, quarter turn. It wasn't on forty five, I don't think. I can't see. 
Can't get your glasses up. <laughs> well, the numbers ain't printed on there very well. Yeah, it's real good. Hey, hey. Yeah, I feel a lot better. That's pretty good. I like them tight. Yeah, but I don't like them broke. <laughs> I can't even both one of these off. I know who gets it fixed. <laughs> I have sketch a couple and had to back them out and put them down in them. <laughs> My luck didn't break off, just snap. These look pretty good, they didn't look like they were stretched. I don't see don't leak, I don't care. I don't see don't leak. Sometimes I miss one. That shit ought to be good. I bet she got pressure now. <laughs> it probably, it probably actually be closer to running now. <laughs> it working now though. She got all the valves yet. She got some pressure now. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and edit this video and see if I can't put it up. We might finish filming putting some more of it together if we're going to do it. And then uh, we'll show you that. Of course, we might get some footage when it runs too. So, y'all have a good day. We'll hop her out.